Good morning and welcome to the new trading week with a short recap to the past week. Equities have um, virtually gone nowhere. The uh, FTSE has made higher highs, yes, but that was just a reason um, uh, well, or just a result of the weak pound. On the weekend, uh, we heard new um, tendencies and new interviews that lead me to believe at least that there might be a hard Brexit coming, that the soft Brexit option is off the table. And so that might serve to bring us an even weaker, weaker pound and an even stronger FTSE because of that currency effect. But on the global basis, equities have gone nowhere. European and uh, equities on Wall Street went sideways. There was one um, development of note. Um, the US dollar went down by 1%. The US dollar index on, uh, on the CME and the futures contracts, US dollar index went down by 1%. And we had that correlation when we had a strong US dollar, the Wall Street went up. Now the US dollar is going down and Wall Street is going nowhere. So there's a strong correlation between that. On the other hand, the weaker dollar brought with it a stronger prices of uh, copper, plus 6% on a weekly basis, price of gold plus 2%, natural gas plus 5%. We had a drop in natural gas prices the week before because there, were, uh, there was warmer weather in the United States. But as we all know, there is winter there as well. And so um, we've got a very volatile price environment in the price of Henry Hub natural gas. So that's the price that is actually um, um, orienting itself uh, between supply and demand in the United States. So weaker dollar also brought with it iron ore prices in China. They went up by 6%. But there was one exception, and that was the price of gold. Price of Brent uh, went down. Actually, there is a um, head and shoulders trend um, uh, uh, topping formation forming in the price of Brent crude. It might be that there are a lot of doubts out there when it comes to Saudi Arabia and the alliance it formed within the OPEC and within non-OPEC states like Russia to actually um, uh, decrease production. The Saudis themselves themselves pledged to decrease their production by 486,000 barrels to 2.058 million barrels. Now they have dropped below 10 million even. So they have gone down further as they pledged. So they, that leads me to believe that there are, or there are at least two um, interpretations of that. Interpretation number one is, okay, they really want to make it real. Um, the second interpretation is that they are being chased to do that because other countries like Iraq are not following um, their um, production cuts. So that would be um, very interesting to see how uh, countries like Iraq um, and other countries that have pledged to decrease their production as well have actually, uh, have they done so, have they not done so, that would be very important for the price of oil, which has um, as I said, in the hourly chart, formed a topping formation, a, a head and shoulders formation that, if triggered, could bring us further down in the course of this week.